We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox. Who's going to win this showdown between these two? Find out next. Now batting, Corbin Carroll. He'll get us started in this one under the Cleveland. lights. The center fielder. Corbin Carroll into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Popped him up. up. Hayden take it, take it, has a play. It. Makes the play one away. Standing in, Gerald Hayden as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Looking up is the right fielder at the track, the wall. And that one is gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, number 14 on the season, and that gives the Red Sox a two-to-nothing lead. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday, so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Striding in for the Indians, Kyle Tucker, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to get on and get a big inning started. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Ready to take his hacks again, Gerald Hayden, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. The last at that, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. Back to first, but it's right over his head. Well, when this play started, it all looked good. They get the lead runner no problem, but he just doesn't make the return throw, and the hitter ends up safely at second. Not the result they were hoping for on what should have been a nice double play. Stepping in and ready for another no shot, here. Willie Number Calhoun. Five. Willie Calhoun. And oh, that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. When a guy homers off you early in the game, the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. Settling in now, Elliot Ramos. Now batting, center fielder. Elliot Rumble. Hey, let it rip. Let it rip. Go, He's ready. Go, Here's the 0-2 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple, but they lead it 3-0. Coming to the plate now, Gerald now Hayden. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fouled away. Pause, now the pitch. Curveball, swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. 
On a good curveball gets him swinging for route number one. I think that curveball is a big reason. Gerald Hayden will stand in here, but the before bat. he does, let's take the you back to the pitch. very first inning. Gerald. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. As a look, now the pitch. Sent in the air right, out to straightaway central. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Striding into the box, now Brett right. Netzer. Second baseman, Brett Netzer. Third. Fielded cleanly. And that's the first out. Striding forward now is the D.H. Christian Yelich. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hey, we got one out here. The one two. Hit to third. Reined in. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Digging in to try it again, Gerald Hayden. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly One just time. missed it. Go. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard Four this AB. In the dirt here. Come on, baby. See driving. Let's go. Oh, one pitch on its way. Got that one Line drive, and that's a up, base hit into center field. And that'll push the lead to five now as it becomes an 8-3 game. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Boy, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit Don't more breathing room. Willie. And here's the former Calhoun. prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Dig, and dig, he'll dig, step dig, on dig. the bag himself, and the inning is over. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Ninth inning coming up. The Red Sox are out in front, eight to three. Coming to the plate now, Evan White. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Evan White. The 3 2 pitch. On the ground to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Digging in, Ken Tachiki. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Last strike now for Cleet. This one's down to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first, and the Red Sox have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. 8-3 tonight. The Red Sox jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. George Kirby with his fourth win this season. John Quintero gets a four-out save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.